You're watching KWQC TV6 Davenport, the station that cares for you. Live from the Quad City's number one station for news, this is KWQC TV6 News at 10. Your first alert weather tops your news at 10. A strong thunderstorm rolled through the Quad Cities area earlier today. It brought heavy rain, thunder, and strong winds. We found some branches down along Brady Street, but got reports of large limbs down as well. The storm also brought some power outages. We found the traffic lights out in the area of Fairmount and West Kimberly Road. As of 745 tonight, around 1,000 people were without power. And as we head into a new week, get ready for the heat. That's why your first alert forecast leads your news at 10. Meteorologist Kyle Dickens joins us. Kyle, we had an uh, employee party this afternoon at the River Bandits game. You didn't get to enjoy that party. I had to duck out long, pretty you? quick. Yeah, right. Uh, no, it was quite the event. Uh, what we saw was a little bit of a surprise. If you've been following with us uh, throughout the day today, though, uh, this morning we started to catch on to this, that there could be some storms and uh, quickly evolved and certainly saw that. Right now, though, much calmer out there. And the good thing you can see here on Skyview is we're starting to see the lights fill in across the area. A little dark as the uh, sun was setting here a little bit earlier as we too lost power on generator power 76 though right now it's muggy out there take a look at this okay this is as the storm time look at here 140 this is as the storm was making its way into the metro now one thing you'll see here as i start this is the wind kind of came out look at all that dust getting blown there and the camera shaking around then comes a storm. This was a gust front or outflow out of the storm that moved through that caused a lot of that damage here in the metro. A little bit different story out into eastern portions of the viewing area. Let's take a look at what this was. It's called, the fancy term is a mesoscale convective vortice, which is just another term for a little low, low pressure that develops. Look at this though. You see that spinning out there. At first, it was just a little bit of a, a complex of storms that was really weakening running into this dry air. Well, it kept itself going. And as it met that warm, juicy air, look at that. That thing sparked right up, and that's when we started seeing some wind damage reports as it made its way into Muscatine, made its way into the Metro right about 2 o'clock. Look at this, though. As it went off to the east, though, this is the area that probably had the most significant damage, and that's going to be out into Bureau County. A lot of reports of some power outages, power lines and pulls down, and even uh, quite a bit of tree damage out there as well. That eventually moved out to about 430, moved out of the viewing area, and left in its way quite a bit of damage. So uh, something we'll be uh, checking out with uh, here over the next couple days. Right now, things are clear, locked calmer out there as that uh, complex has moved out. Look at that, though, right now in the central Michigan causing some issues out there. Got some warnings out there for tonight, though. We should stay calm and clear, but we are certainly going to heat things up. The temperatures are going to be the big story here as we head into the week and we could see temperatures into the 90s once again and heat index values into the triple digits. We'll detail that in your full first